Oh, take your time. Of the vessels. Yes. He would apply the blood to the broken places hey, in the yeah. vessels. Yeah, come on now. Oh. Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry. You all right? Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Good. So we Thank have new you. levels of purity, new Hallelujah. new cracks being revealed means more blood is needed. Yeah. Number seven, the last thing, the last picture I want to talk about that I see in this, these verses is Hallelujah. the placement of blood. This re- represents the application of the blood in our lives. And there's, it shows us specific places where they applied and, and the blood over their lives. And Amen. It's a picture of their specific places that God wants us to plead the blood over our lives yes, sir. and over our families. Um, this leper that was once ostracized outside the camp is now covered in blood. And the priest had to take more blood and apply it to three specific places. The first place was the ear. Psalm 55 verse 2 through 3 says this, I'm restless in my complaint and I moan because of the noise of the enemy. Can I tell you, heaven and hell both have a sound. Mm -hmm. They both have a sound, and that sound is seed into your life. That's why you can't let anything and anyone speak into your life. Because what you are allowing into your ears is a seed into your life. Neither can we allow culture to feed our kids all of the garbage in the media. As parents, I think one of my main jobs is to provide guardrails around my kids' hearts and minds and around their ears. To filter what comes in because, I'm, and I'm not being dogmatic, I believe this is our first job as parents, as fathers yes, and mothers, is to protect our children from the, from, from the things that the enemy would love to put seed in their heart, but we want the right seed to be planted. I remember, I thought I had it rough growing up, and growing up as a Christian kid in a Christian household is... It's got its challenges, right? How many grew up in a Christian household? Other kids were allowed to do things I wasn't allowed to do. I remember when I'd say, Dad, can I go to this party with my friends? And he'd be like, what do you mean? The party's here. We're playing Uno.